Yeah. MMAweekly.com here with the President Dana White. Dana, how you doing today? How are you? Doing well, thank you. Um, UFC 139, pretty big fight card coming up with uh, Hendo and Shogun being the main event. Let me ask you this. What was your main selling point for bringing Hendo back into the UFC? Uh, th there, was, there was no selling point. I mean, Henderson's a tough dude. I mean, he's, he's tough, he's durable, and he just knocked out Vador. It was, uh, you know, he, he deserves to be in the UFC. Okay, now when you, uh, you were first approached about this, I think you said something about, hey, ugly, uh, you yeah. need to talk. And he yeah. said, okay, Fatso. Yeah. So when did Fatso and Ugly get together? To, we to, talked uh, right after that. We talked that day or, or uh, the next day, I don't remember. But we were throwing the ugly fat jokes back on stage, too. <laughs> And when you approached Shogun about the fight, uh, how, how amped was he in his camp about welcoming uh, Shogun or Henderson back into the U.S.? Yeah, they like the Henderson fight, you know. He said it's a fight that should have happened a long time ago. It's the thing about Shogun. Shogun likes the fight, man. Shogun's excited about that fight. He liked that Rampage called him out. He likes the Rampage fight. So Shogun's fun to deal with. Right. And obviously, Rampage did call Shogun out. I mean, it was a little quick after his last fight, but is, are you looking that far ahead as far as Japan? between Rampage and somebody else? Uh, no, no. Uh, the reality is that if Henderson and Shogun fight, I mean, when Henderson and Shogun fight, it's going to be a war. Those guys are going to get banged up. There's no way that he'd be able to turn around that quick and go fight Rampage. Do you have anything in mind as far as Japan is concerned? Um, no. I, I'm, I'm nothing yet? Nothing yet, yeah. That, I'm, I'm so focused on November 12th, I'm not thinking about anything else. Okay, well, let's talk about November 12th then. Uh, UFC on Fox, uh, Kane versus JDS. Have you guys figured out how you're going to get the rest of the fights streamed as far as Yahoo or Facebook? Is no, concerned? I, I have no idea how we're going to get the other fights out there, but we always deliver. And you know this, we will get it done. <laughs> you will get it done, okay. Now, um, as far as November 19th is concerned, this fight, uh, you've got Vanderlei Silva stepping in the face, certainly, obviously, the big part was in her. Uh, Quickly, how quickly did Vanderlei's camp respond when saying, when saying, yeah, I want to fight Conor? Instantly. Instantly. They said yes. Okay. Obviously, Van Vanderlei loves fight, right? the fight. Vanderlei wants to fight in the UFC. He was bummed out by the comments that I made. I'm giving him another opportunity. Now, from your perspective, if Vanderlei loses this fight, is it, do, you, do you think it's time for him to hang up the gloves? Or? <laughs> I said it last time. So I don't want to say anything again before his fight. Let him fight his fight. We'll talk about that after. What if he wins? Yeah. Then I'll have to shut the hell up, won't I? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and one final thing about uh, uh, November 19th. Uh, obviously, this is your guys' first strike to San Jose. This was Strike Force territory before, but now you, know, you guys are coming in and doing big things. How big is it that you guys come here and you carry on the tradition that Strike Force started and uh, continue it with the UFC? Yeah, no, it's awesome, and there's no doubt Strike Force cultivated this market, and there's tons of fans here. This, this whole area here, from San Francisco, Sacramento, here, Stockton, I mean, there, there's a lot of fight fans down here, and, and I'm excited to finally be up here in San Jose and, and do a, uh, an event here. Awesome. Cool. Dan White, thanks for talking with us. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it.